Now in this video of C language, we are going to make another implementation of pointers that is pointer to pointer. So far, we have already covered the basic implementations of pointer along with the pointer arithmetic and null pointer. So when I say pointer to pointer, that means there is a pointer who is storing the address of some other pointer variable and probably that pointer is storing the address of some other variable. So it should be something like this, like there is a variable who is containing the value inside like where i is equal to 10, right? Then there is a pointer like in asterisk ip who is storing the address of this particular ad variable and then we have another pointer who is storing the address of this pointer. So this is what we call pointer to pointer, alright? So when we define a normal pointer, we use a single asterisk symbol. But here we are making a hierarchy. There is a variable pointer storing its address and another pointer storing this address. So it's multi-level thing. So for that, we will use double asterisk. Double asterisk if we are storing the address of a pointer. If I want to store address of this pointer, I will define another pointer to pointer with three asterisks and so on. It can go to nth level. Now, you can observe here like var is a variable of integer type storing some value. PTR is used for uh, storing the address of this variable and this PPTR that is pointer to pointer, it is storing the address of this PTR. Alright, so this is how you can start the basic implementation and then I can read the value of this var from this var directly or through this pointer or from this pointer to pointer. So let's see all such scenarios in practical now. Here in the implementation of pointer to pointer, first of all I have defined a variable i having a value 10. Then in the integer pointer ip, I have stored the value of variable i and in the pointer to pointer that is integer pointer to pointer iip I have stored the address of ip. Now this is the hierarchy like i is a variable ip is containing the value of i and iip is storing the value of ip. So here you can see I have printed three messages let's see deeply what is the meaning. So first of all in the first statement I am printing the address of i. So for that, I can print that as ampersand i, alright, that will represent the address of i. Later, I have printed the value of ip, means the value which is stored by this pointer. So pointer is has stored nothing but the address of i. So here, you will get the same value which I have printed here because the address of ip, address of i and value stored by ip both will be same. Now in the third message what is there? Value at address of iip. Let me remove this one. Value at address of iip. What does that mean? Because iip is a pointer which is containing some address. Alright? And at that particular address which value is stored means IIP is containing the address of IP and at that particular address which value is stored. So again at that particular address it's nothing but the address of I is stored. So if I'll execute this one you will find it is the same value in all the three cases. Alright. It is the address of I. This is the value of IP and this is the value which is stored in the address of IIP. Now let's see how can I read the value of i in different ways. So here in first statement I have just printed the value of i like this i. In the second statement the value of i is printed as asterisk ip because as we know when we put asterisk during the print it will get the value which is stored at that particular address. So it is 10 and when I'll try to read the same value through IIP I'll have to put a double asterisk because the first asterisk which I have already printed here will get you the value of IP means the address of I when you will put second asterisk it will show you the value which is stored in the address of I 
so ultimately you will get the value of i itself so here in all the three statements you will find the same value which is 10 which I have stored in this i so this is how you can make it to any particular level when you talk about the pointer to pointer make sure every time when you are storing the value of any pointer the next pointer should be one stage ahead means one asterisk extra should be there